Step four, get my partners started. Now, from that heading, that's an obligation on me as the existing person to get you or new person started properly. Let me just make this comment to you who are bringing someone in or inviting someone to join with you. They are making a commitment to you based on your invitation to them. Without being too bold, you owe them a proper getting started strategy session. You owe them the opportunity to be started correctly and give every possible opportunity to get going well. If it's getting started with the product, then you do what the minimum wage person at the health food store or the GNC doesn't do. You follow up the next morning. Hey, new person, how'd that nature's tea go? And you know exactly how it went. Any questions? How's it go for you? What did you do? How's it working? And then you follow up again a couple of days later. You're getting them started, reminding them in a direct or sometimes indirect fashion that, hey, like most things in life, this doesn't work by osmosis. You've got to take the product in order for it to work. Let me help you. If it's business, then you owe them that previously referenced getting started or strategy session. If for no other reason, then you remove the excuses of this didn't work for me. Or I'm going to blame Aaron because it didn't work for me. I don't want that blame. And more importantly, I want them to be successful. So I'm going to get them started properly. We talk about that more from the person who invited them's perspective in the leadership section on, on, in, this, uh, in this website. But for a new, new person now, you need to extract that from the person that invited you to join Unicity. They owe it to you. Now, you may be tempted to say, it's no big deal, I've got it, I think I can figure it out for myself, I think, excuse, excuse, excuse. No, start properly. If you're starting in the business, have them sit down with you and extract from them the value that they owe you, the commitment that they've made to you by virtue of the invitation they've extended for you to join them. Don't let them, excuse the phrase, sign and dash. Help them help you. Now back to the original premise or the title of this section, Get My Partner Started. To you that have invited that person to join with you. Start them well. If they're taking the product, follow up, follow up, follow up. Note the theme here. If they're starting in the business, don't let them, don't let them let you off the hook in not doing the getting started or strategy session. That is 75 to 90 minutes of time well spent for you and for them. After all, you want to do all you can to help them be successful. Of all the things you could do, that is the best. So get them started well and properly. I would suggest that that session takes about 90 minutes. If you get efficient and if you get them and invite them to do their goals and their Who Knows Me worksheet, and over time that can be condensed to about 75 minutes. Not a huge amount of time. The reality is, if you don't do that, you'll spend more than 75 or 90 minutes answering silly questions, correcting, redoing, revisiting things that should have been covered in that getting started or strategy session. So just do it. You owe it to them to, so that they can be successful, so that they can be an addition to and positively accretive to your business. So do all you can once you've invited them and they've agreed to join you and us to get them started properly.